Mercedes-Benz have always built beautiful coupes, well at least as long as I can remember. From 1961 to 71, they produced cars like the 220SE Coupe, the 250 and the 280SE. These were style icons of their era. Well, Mercedes-Benz are still doing it with this, the latest generation E-Class Coupe, and what a looker it is. There are no lines, no angles to upset the flow, not even a B-pillar. And the rear end, well, that looks awfully like the latest S-Class Coupe. Mercedes-Benz say that the new E-Class is the most intelligent car in the world. Well, one look at these two massive 12.3-inch digital screens in front of me, and you'd pretty much have to agree with that. They've also changed the interior too, so in line with the flowing exterior design, we have these beautiful flowing lines. But my favourite thing are these jet engine inspired air vents. They're all over the car and they do look pretty special. Right from the get go, you feel this car is built for comfort. Now I don't mean it hasn't got plenty of dynamic ability because it really it really has the grip levels from these Pirelli P0 20 inch tires I mean it doesn't feel a small car when you it feels like a large car but it really just goes around corners with such pointedness some marvelous damping this has got air suspension so this car is a standard spec car there is dynamic suspension which Australia will get later but at launch date there'll be this stock standard air suspension and I can't find a thing wrong with it at all. But gee, there's a nice exhaust note from that twin turbo V6 engine in the E400 that we're driving currently. It'll do a 0 to 100 in around 5.3 seconds. Look, the top speed is limited to 250. Now this will retail for $145,900 plus on roads. But I mean this car, new E-Class Coupe, it is a proper GT car now. It's got all the luxury you'll ever need, but it's also got plenty of poke, at least in this spec. We'll dial it up into Sport Plus. And everything's just a little bit more urgent. Suspension firms up. It's a nine-speed automatic transmission, no dual clutch here because that would probably not fit entirely with the refinement that this car exercises and there is a lot of refinement. And that steering weight is beautifully calibrated, uh, not too heavy, not too light, weights up when you start pushing a little bit, it's just absolutely perfect. So do we think Mercedes-Benz have nailed the brief with this new E-Class Coupe? You bet. Great styling, awesome technology, brilliant handling and ride, and just a fantastic GT experience. <laughs>